How are you? I hope you've been good and I hope things have been all right. We've got another just one-on-one -on -one chat with the camera again today. I'm really liking these videos. If you are a SWAT, then I'm, I'm, so, I'm glad. Recently, literally within the last week, I was at the gym. It was late at night. I was with my new group of friends I've met on self-improvement. And it was interesting because I met an old friend, an old friend who was part of my old friendship group. And I hadn't seen him in a really, really long time because he was at uni and stuff. So seeing him and I was there with my the new people I've met, we, there was no hard feelings. We got on very, very well. It just kind of made me think about the journey that I've made to get to where I am today with the people that I've met. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Yeah, it was really interesting because I, I saw him and it had been a really long time and he was a part of a friendship group that I really did look up to, which I'm not a part of anymore. And there's no hard feelings at all. It's just that, you know, that's just how it is. Most friendship groups, best friends, they just grow apart. No, no hard feelings, but it was interesting seeing him. It kind of made me think back to like all the, the good times, the good old days from like years ago. Those good old days where I was with them, we went to like the woods, built our own tree house. We straight up built like a house in the woods. I'm not gonna lie, like someone could go there and live there. There's a pizza oven. You could make your own pizza that we, we built a pizza from the ground. It was amazing. <laughs> well, pizza oven-ish thing. It was a makeshift sort of thing. To being excluded and being really, really alone for a long period of time. And then finding myself on self-improvement and then finding new people on the same path that I was on. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about because it was on my mind recently. Maybe you're in a position right now, something where you've just related to something that I said, where you're in your own journey. Maybe you've found that new group of friends. Maybe you're currently being excluded and you're quite alone. We got on well when I met him. It'd been a while. And yeah, I just kind of thought about that old friendship group that I used to really look up to that I'm not a part of anymore. And it kind of made me want to just talk about the path that you are on right now. Yeah, I'm not a part of that friendship group anymore, but I'm really happy where I am now. And that wasn't from me playing the victim and wallowing in my sorrow and my loneliness, trying my hardest to find new friends. That was from me just staying on my own path that I'd found myself on, self-improvement. And the same thing applies to you. The path that you are on right now, whatever path that may be, maybe you are also getting onto self-improvement. It's been your first couple of weeks. If that's the path you're on right now, give it a couple months, maybe a year, maybe even less than that, maybe in two, three days, who knows? But on that path you've chosen to be on, you will meet others on the same path. You'll be walking down this path on your journey, learning all the things you can, all the experiences that you make. And on this journey down this path, you will find others who are walking in the same direction as you. Now that depends what path you've chosen. Maybe you're one of the few. You're one of the one, there's, there's probably only 10% of the people who watch this. Maybe less than that, who are actually on self-improvement. Maybe you're one of those few who are on self-improvement and you will meet others who are just trying to better themselves. Or maybe you're part of the average, the degenerate average where most people are drinking, wallowing away in their sorrows, giving in to the instant gratification and really not taking care of their actual health. Now, if that's the path you've chosen on to be someone who's drunk most of the time, video games most of the time, eats junk food most of the time, doesn't take care of his physical health. If that's someone you've chosen to be, then you will meet other people like that on your path. You need to choose what path is right for you. It's interesting because literally like a few days ago, I've had a, uh, an old group of, uh, that I used to game with a lot when I used to be a typical degenerate video gamer <laughs> on like Discord and things. And uh, I've obviously stopped all that now, but it's interesting because they got back in contact and they were really wanting me to get back and join them again, but no. Obviously not. I'm happy where I am right now. And that's nothing against them. They're lovely people. It's just that I want to be a better person. It's funny because people you meet will try and drag you back to like where they want you to be. This was just sort of a one-on-one -on -one chat. So I rambled on a little bit. So I apologize. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I hope you've been good. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you already are, another video will pop up in the corner. And if you like this video, you should 100% click on this because this could definitely change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? There's a load of birds here as well. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah. Yeah, again, the birds didn't join me. All right. <laughs>